Okay, welcome to my uh, second video about the Megabeat 2. This time we're going to look at some of the controls, how to use some of the controls and uh, what the buttons are like on the front and so on. So far we're uh, zoomed right in on the logo there, so we'll just zoom out a little. And these are the controls that you will uh, see on the front panel. I'll just uh, point them out now and see what they do. This one says exit. I'll come to that one later. If you want to exit from a, an editing page or a page that you're in, you just press that one. So it's fine. This one is uh, F1, F2, F3, and F4. Now these uh, these buttons here change their function. They're called contextual uh, buttons because they uh, their function depends on the context of what you're doing at the time. Let's have a look right now at what those four buttons might be. Uh, might indicate. On the bottom of the screen we can see um, track on well, there's some focusing problems there track on, playlist, text and continue. So that's what those four buttons are going to do right now. Continue. Okay. Well, I'm going to hit that button and see what it does. There we go. Continue. It's actually continuing a MIDI file that I was playing a second ago. So there we go. Now, uh, next to those uh, buttons, we've got, uh, well, next to the screen actually, we've got three sliders. Now, these are uh, just a straight volume mixer idea. The slider on the right is the volume of the, um, the music and be that your uh, MIDI file or MP3 and then we've got two sliders here. This one here is for mic 1 and this one here is for mic 2. Um, should you have microphones plugged into the back of this you can do uh, like a mini mix of your performance, your microphones and the, um, the music. By the way you can add effects to these microphones uh, in the machine as well so in fact uh, apart from being a music player you could use this thing as a little mini mixer while you're on the job and uh, well what a compact little package that is. So um, that could make life easy. Let's have a look at some of the other controls. I'll just put the music back on there a little bit. Um, let's have a look at uh, below there. We've got some arrows up, down, left, right. Well, when you're navigating around this screen, that's what those arrows are for. I'm just going to do the up arrow right now. So up arrow, down arrow, and uh, Left and right's not going to do anything at the moment because I'm... Well, let's just do something very quickly where you can see if I... Um, sorry, I'll just, I'll just start playing uh, another MIDI file and then we can see what the left and right arrows might do. So uh, I'm going to go track change, which is my function four button right now. See it says track change there, so let's hit that. And then we're going to go into the uh, the editing screen. Okay, doing that. Now using the uh, right arrow, can you see the cursor moving across there? Uh, I, I'm getting ready to change different parts. So using the down arrow I can go down to the uh, the volume parameter. Uh, and then using the right arrow I could go to the transpose parameter. So now that I'm sitting on the transpose parameter when I um, turn the dial I'm actually transposing the whole piece. Now I've just changed it down two semitones. I'll just show you that dial. Okay so I'm, st I'm on the transpose parameter and I just uh, simply turn the dial now I'm turning to the right, I'm transposing up. Okay, so that's quite simple. And uh, of course you get used to these things really quickly. It's all pretty intuitive actually, the way this stuff is set out. It's, um, it's the thing I really dig about this machine. This is why I'm really happy to be talking about it. Um, so we've got program changes. Uh, we've got bank change. We've got reverb. Yes, you can go and change different um, amount of reverb on various um, instruments. Well, just to demonstrate that, I'm going to go to the um, drum part. I'm going to solo it. 
So we're listening to the drum part, I'll turn up a bit. And we're on the, the reverb parameter. So I'll turn reverb right off the drums. Here we are. Now I'll turn reverb on ridiculously. So you can see. Um, so you see somewhere in between is a good level for this song. And so if you want, you can um, you can edit all those parameters. Um, there's another one there, the chorus effect. You can uh, edit the chorus effect for each part and also the panning uh, where the uh, instrument's going to sit in your stereo mix. And look over here, right at the end, we've got the tempo button. Um, I'm going to stop soloing. That would have been a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to stop soloing and I'm going to go to the tempo adjustment, turn the dial, and so it's that easy to change the tempo of the piece, and if I'm happy with my new tempo, all I have to do is um, hit F2, which is, um, guess what, it's the save button, see down the bottom there, this will be the F1, this will be the F2, so if I hit the save button, it'll save it just like that. But uh, I'm not going to hit the FT button because I don't, I, I didn't fancy that edit that I did of that song at all. So there you go. There is um, a quick look at some of the controls. I'll just, yeah, just before I depart this particular video, I'll just point out two others. There's a menu button there and a parameter button. Um, this is where you can get into some of the uh, setup areas of the machine. I'm going to press the menu button and we can see that there's a uh, number of uh, other areas we can go into there. The drum kit editor setup, um, compact flash utility, make a playlist um, expander. That's for if you want to use the machine as a sound module. Um, there's a tuner there. Look at that. And so uh, I'm just going to exit the uh, parameter window. The, sorry, the menu window by hitting the exit button, and I'm going to go into parameter. Uh, at the moment, because I've got a MIDI file selected, uh, we've got the following parameters available. We can choose F1 MIDI parameters, um, F2 we can choose the output EQ, F3 we can choose the mic EQ, so we can EQ the two microphones differently if you want. And then uh, F4 is your mic effect, so you can have uh, delay, uh, reverb, chorus, and so on, effects on your mics, if you want. So there you go. I'm going to hit exit, and we get out of there, and we're back to the normal play screen. Just uh, one more thing here on the normal play screen. We're just looking at our song list at the moment, but if I wanted to go to playlist, it says F2 there, playlist, I can hit F2. And now I can look at lists, playlists, and a playlist could be an actual set list that you've made up, or it could be just a, a grouping of songs. You might have a playlist which is uh, ballads, or you might have a playlist which is uh, your fast rock songs. So if you want to go to that category, just go to a playlist, and then, um, so I'm going to go list here, and see what I've put in that demo list. I've just put... Uh, three or four songs in there just to show you that uh, you can put songs in a playlist. Anyway, that's about it for this video and um, I hope you can uh, find some more videos about the Megabeat 2 because it's a machine very well worth investigating. So uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.